Hi, my name is Grant Walk. I'm in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. I'd like to ask you what the north coast of Trinidad has to do with the geology of Nova Scotia. Well, here we have the northern range in Trinidad, and this represents the end of the Andes Mountains. And essentially, the Andes extended from Chile, Peru, up through Colombia, Venezuela, and here they're disappearing rapidly through degradation with all the heavy rains in the equatorial climates. Now, if we look here in Nova Scotia, these rocks were deposited in the upper Carboniferous and uh, upper Pennsylvania, say about 300 to 330 million years ago. And these were this is the coal age that extended across Europe and throughout Nova Scotia. The first mining of coal was in the 1690s, and we can see some of these dark layers where the coal beds were. And this represents rapid accumulations of sediment that compressed over time. So take peat moss and keep pressing it, and you start to get coal. So we take the students here to look at the vegetation. You can see the ancient trees, which were much like the palm trees we see in Trinidad, very pulpy. And we can start to understand the depositional environment. So we can teach the students to read the rocks and understand the climate. CO2 rates were much, much higher then. And then we can envision as we read the rocks to what the ancient environments at deposition look like when we look at places like in Trinidad.